Fans.com. We're here with Ponderosa. Can you guys introduce yourself? Yes, I am JT from the band Ponderosa. And I am Kalen. My last name's not Ponderosa like his, but it's Nash. <laughs> Alright, what songs do you like most by yourselves and why? Songs of our songs of our own that we like. Um, I like the song Pool Party, which is the name of our record as well because it's a lot of fun to play live and it's just a real energetic song. It's about pizza and lasers. So you can't go wrong with that. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Hmm. Right now, my favorite movie is Labyrinth. That's a good one. Yep. Uh, mine would probably be Robin Hood and Thieves. It's Kevin Costner, right? Yeah, Kevin Costner. Came out in 1993. Good one. Do you remember the best dream you've ever had in what was it? You go first because I'm long winded on this one. Wow. I was hoping for this question. Uh, Best dream I've ever had. Um, geez, I'm gonna let you answer it if you already got something in mind. Well, my my favorite dream I've ever had. I was in. I was walking in a grocery store, and I walked around the corner, like in the back, you know, where they have like the coolers and stuff with all the yogurt. And I walked around the corner, and a lady stabbed me with a knife. That's a good dream. Well, no, let me let me finish. She stabbed me with a knife, and I was just like. Okay, what do I do now? I'm about to die. Then I looked up on the wall and there was a clock and I turned it backwards and then I went backwards in the dream and then I did it again and I stopped her. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. I have to, I have to admit. Yeah. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? Probably a chef. Um, I wanted to be a musician, but if I wasn't a musician, I would want to be a professional baseball player for the Atlanta Braves. Good answer. How do you come up with your songs? Um, a lot of times it starts out as just a simple idea. Just, you know, either Kaylin or me or anybody in the band will come up with a cool idea and the rest of us will be like, hey, I like that idea, that's a lot of fun, and then we all start playing it. And then, you know, then me and Kaylin will go scurry off into a room and we'll try to figure out what we want the song to be about and we'll write lyrics to it. That's usually how it goes. Dead on. What was the best president that you've ever got? The best president or present? President. Okay. Um, if you know, if you know off the top of your head, go for it. Um, best present I ever got was when I was a little kid. I got a Teddy Ruxpin. Do y'all know what a Teddy Ruxpin is? No. Well, basically, it was this teddy bear that had a cassette tape player in it. And you would put the cassette tape in the back of it, and then it was like a little like animatronic robot, and it would tell you stories. And that was my favorite for the longest time. Except I'd fall asleep with Teddy Ruxpin, and then like <laughs> ten minutes after I'd fall asleep, there'd be this voice that would go, "Turn the tape over," <laughs> and then I would, and then it just kind of would freak me out, and I would be able to go to sleep. So it was a good and bad gift. Mine would have to be Christmas that I got Sega Genesis with Mortal Kombat, probably. When you're at home, what's your favorite restaurant to eat at and what do you want? Mm. Wow, there's so many. I can name mine off the bat. Go for it. It's a place called Five and Ten and I get oysters every time. Um. My favorite restaurant in Atlanta is called Soba, and they serve a Viet it's a Vietnamese restaurant. And they serve pho, and my favorite thing to get is pho, which is just like soup with noodles. <laughs> you know. It's like but it's soup. got noodles in it. It's got soup with noodles, and usually it has meat in it of some sort. I usually like to get the shrimp. Sometimes you can get weird weird meats like stomach and stuff like that. Ew. But I like it. It's, it's actually good. pretty good. It's a lot of fun. I think you would like it if we disguised it as macaroni and cheese. 
These are great questions. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a tough one. Been to a lot of concerts. Um, I think I would probably one of my best would probably be uh, John Z from Cigaros. Oh yeah, the Voodoo Fest. Yeah, John that was Z, that, that was, was pretty good. And I, because I can't think of anything else, I'm gonna agree with him and say. <laughs> That was my favorite too. Although I didn't see him at that festival, but two days later we were in Atlanta and I got to see him play and it was really amazing. And he had like this crazy, you know, backdrop with all of this cool like video stuff going by. And lots of drums. Lots of drums. It's a lot of fun. What fear would you like to overcome? Um. I'm really afraid of heights. Like, not like, like on, if I was like on top of a building, I'd get vertigo. So, I think I'd like to overcome that, but I think the only way to overcome that would be to go skydiving. So I'll have to try that. Yeah. I have a weird phobia of getting too hot. Heights would be my number one, but the next one would be my fear of overheating. Probably. My fear is of over freezing, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so if I sound like this, I'm just gonna very cold. Anyways. And who is your favorite spice? Mm, um, I'm kind of mad at the Spice Girls because none of them are actually named after any spices. <laughs> yeah. That's a root. It can be used oh. as a spice. That's gonna be my favorite than ginger spice. <laughs> Mine's between, mine was between Ginger Spice and Scary Spice. I think Ginger Spice was, you know, the most affable, but the most talented was definitely Scary Spice. Yeah, she was the most talented. Yeah. She was the Michael Jackson of the group. I like Scary. Alright, that's Thank it. You. Cool. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good work with you guys. <laughs>